What day is it? Saturday morning, day three or four. Why are you so bad at math? I can't! I can't keep up with this! I'm, I'm not having coffee every morning. And, this is, and I cannot open up a door. This is terrible. Why don't you try pulling on the door? I don't have strength anymore, okay? Hey. I need my coffee. Hey. So it's day four, um, we are doing a recap the Survivor Challenge. Uh, she unfortunately picked season 26, and what I mean so by bad. unfortunately is that like on season 25, they get off a boat and they take a whole bunch of food including chickens and stuff like that, but in season six, uh, through the first three episodes, they eat nothing but coconuts that they find. Uh, and rice. then the rations of rice that they're given, and one team, which is her team, because she won the challenge, uh, got a little bit of beans. So that's all they've eaten in the first seven days, except on day seven, uh, there was one guy who had some kind of mystery fruit. We couldn't quite figure out what it is, so what we're gonna do is when we get to day seven, we're gonna split an orange from our backyard. We figure that's probably about the same. What really, really, really pisses us off is they got fishing gear on day five from a challenge, and on day five, six, and seven, they haven't bothered to catch a fish, which was what we were really hoping for, is that we'd go back here and catch some fish and at least have something to eat, but uh, it's not really happening. Um, still no coffee, no coffee challenges, no bad. wine, no very, wine very challenges. It's bad in the mornings, especially in the morning. I just want my coffee. I don't want food. I will give him my food if he wants to. I just want a cup of coffee. But looks like I picked the wrong, I mean like, Bad season. They're all good seasons according to people who love this show. <laughs> but there's no food on season 26. But anyway. Uh, yeah, everything hurts. I feel like I don't have my powers anymore. What also hurts is that we live in a house where there's always temptation to open up the fridge and it's full of food and drinks and you can't do anything about it and you dream about the day where you can eat again, I guess. And it's only day four to me. So, um, yeah, hopefully one of the challenges is gonna be uh, chicken, fish, that's, that's it. Maybe I, I can just go back to a little bit of normal life now. So one of the things that we've learned is, um, you know, since we're modeling after them and they find coconuts, we're, we're going to eat a coconut every day as long as they do. And, and, and through the first week of the show, they have uh, always had a coconut. So um, yesterday we had a coconut all ready to go and um, open it up and it was, it's what would you one. call it, rancid? It was uh, a bad one. A bad, it's one. Really bad one. So like all moldy and uh, inedible. So. Uh, we definitely didn't get as much food in yesterday as we wanted, but uh, we're still upright, so we're gonna keep going, push through. I'm just waiting for the day where there's coffee, that's it. And this is when I'm gonna show you how to ration coffee. I will tell you exactly Oh, by the way, do. since she doesn't really watch Survivor, she has no idea about the whole rationing process or anything, so she's just kind of, you know, she won two cans of beans and already ate one, and then, um, <laughs> she just made herself like a big tub of rice and it was like that was like a half a pound of rice I I'm like that's probably yesterday. for the two of us that was probably like five days worth of rice that she ate yesterday so the whole she's dying of starvation so thing good. is incorrect she's gonna make sure we run out of food before that happens other than that um you know we'll keep Coffee. doing follow-ups when we get some food and day, day seven's a big day we're gonna eat eat an orange and then, at, oh my God. by then we're gonna this watch the next big couple big. episodes of season 26 to figure out uh, what kind of food may be in the, the challenges. Like lifting a chair. Hi. I look great on the inside. Oh my gosh, my body hurts. It's day five, and I really want good coffee. You can believe that one. So we're gonna go on the scale and see what we did. 
Five days of coconut and rice in city life. Well, you had beans. I'm not eating that, but I had beans. I'm gonna just think about the beans now. Say you, nothing much. You're the same weight. I'm the same weight. All right, let's see, Ross. Hold on. That was 184 five days ago. What? That is, I still have a big giant butt, really though. Okay, what am I doing wrong? You're still eating beans and other stuff. You're cheating. Yeah. You're clearly cheating and not telling anyone. Is that? Thank you. All right, let's try again. Do it again. Maybe the scale just wasn't right for some reason. Okay. Oh, well that's weird. This scale is awesome. Okay, this scale is either broken, but I like it like this. 117 is good. This is how I want, what I want to see. But I don't want to eat rice and beans and coconuts anymore. But hey, there's a great recipe where if you can throw like fresh coconuts with your rice and cook them together, it tastes really, really good. I mean, that's what I learned. And I like that. I might do this for breakfast. One of the things that we decided was that since we were planning on doing this for 30 days and Survivor's 39 days, mm -hmm. that we actually want to get to the challenging part because I just noticed I ran upstairs and I was winded and I'm like, okay, clearly that's not right. And so it occurred to me that like when you see the people just struggling and dying in those challenges, it's because their they body are. has nothing in it. Uh -huh. So we're our son is planning like a... Uh, some kind of physical on the lake uh, activity challenge. That's our next challenge. But, you know, we're trying to keep up with the show, but since the show is gonna go longer than us, what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch the next episode, which is episode four on season 26. And so that hopefully has some kind of food challenge so that we can tie it in with, with some kind of endurance challenge. So that'll, that'll be kind of fun for us. So we're gonna plan on doing that uh, today. As can it's we instead watch episode one of season 25? And that's it, that's, that's all I wanna watch. For all you Survivor fans, watch season 25, figure out how much food they start with, with chickens and everything, and then watch season 26 where there's just a desert of- Depression. Coconuts, coconuts, rice, and beans, that's <laughs> it. So. Uh, uh, hang on, hang tight. We're going to watch that episode, figure out what, what kind of food is the reward, and then we're going to uh, have our son drag us out for the challenge. Day five, uh, the challenge that we watched, uh, the reward part of it was that they brought out some kind of tribal elder who taught them how to make a feast. The feast consisted of chicken, rice, veggies, and fruit. So the winner of today's competition is going to be really, really happy. Um, and what we're going to do is, it's going to be a kayak uh, competition. Do you see this kayak back here? This, this is Perception. It's like, it's like okay. Amazon's top selling kayak, but I got to tell you why. We bought it a year ago. It still looks cool. It sits out in the sun all the time and it has like no wear and tear in the color. It still looks cool. Uh, and the chair it. and everything is fine. All the time. It's super sturdy. And I what I really it. like about it is, um, I like the type of kayak where it's the, the open kayak because I'm kind of tall and, and it's very, uh, you know, when you have to squeeze into one of those covered kayaks, that doesn't work for me at all because my feet don't this fit. Uh, my feet go all the way to the end. I'm all legs. I'm like 6'3 and there's plenty of room. Unlike so. him, I love that we can adjust it to my height. So <laughs> he can go all the way through on the kayak and I can just adjust my legs. So I love it. So kayak works for both of us. What we're going to do is we're going to do a competition where we're going to leave our dock and we're going to go to the other end. And what we're going to do is uh, where the rocks are. Can you see the rocks over there? Where that tree is and the rocks? Uh, you're going to make sure that you have to take the paddle and you have to hit one of those rocks. Then you turn around, come back, and then get to the dock. Uh, we only have the one kayak, so we're going to time it. Um, also, Raina, Raina said something about how she's going to die afterwards or something. He suggested a coin toss to see who's going to go first. And I suggested, no, I'm going to go first. If I can go and be done with this challenge and die slowly and take a bath and maybe give up because I feel like he has more energy than I do. It's insane. Well, the other thing yeah. that, that we were really talking about, and I don't think she really grasped this concept, is um, there's going to be a pretty nice feast for the winner today. 
uh, the loser's gonna be extremely bitter because they're back to the, the rice, coconuts, and uh, there's mangoes. Not until day seven. Mangoes don't show up until day seven, sorry. Okay. And that's just the way that works. You know, the show doesn't have any food until day seven. And that's why I only watch The Amazing Way. <laughs> okay, so one of the other things that we're gonna show is um, I fall in the lake like at least once a month trying to get in the kayak. Hopefully so um, this time. maybe we'll catch it on video this time because that would actually be quite funny. So um, we're going to keep it rolling as we get her in the uh, water. Oh so just kind of hope she doesn't it. fall. Two, one, go. And it is on. Hey, Ray, says all you're doing is that. You should be the one driving. Don't run over your mom. Go faster. Go faster. She's really fast. She's gonna win. And she's hungry too, so she really wants it. Figure it out. Make sure when you get there that you slow it down. Yeah. It's kind of going sideways. Okay, head that way. Right, right? Yeah, so then you're gonna turn. Slow it down, probably. And then go. Yeah. Right. Why would you turn? Why would you turn around that way? Yeah, Ray. Right, that's not using common sense. Yeah, except that we're a mile away from her. Okay, obviously you're not supposed to run into that. You know what I mean? You, if your turn would have gone down by there, it would have made a lot more sense, right? Yeah. Alright, what's the time? Okay, well. One, two, three, four, seven, slow down, slow down. Go check your phone. Two minutes, 36 seconds so far. Right, you gotta like drive so that you're close to her and then keep the phone right here so you can touch it and keep it from turning off, okay? Get closer to her. Or at least get closer to the, the finish line. So drive to the finish line. Go faster, or she's faster than us. Raina, where are you going? Go home. Yeah, that's All right, so you're gonna stop your watch when she crosses the the front of the boat with that fence. All right. Go faster and get closer to our house. Okay, you ready to stop the stopwatch? And stop it. All right, stop. Just, just stop. Just turn. Just stop the car. All right, what is it? Three forty-nine. Yeah, three forty-nine. You ready to drive the boat? You ready to time? We are. Let's just go. Okay, three, two, one. Start the timer. He passed the gate. You started. All right, it'll take away two seconds from his time then. Uh, go for it, mom. Ryder, 
what's up. Got him? Yeah, I've got him. Rope. Oh, it's stuck. All right, it's back on. Yeah. are shaking I could barely get out of the boat. You sure your legs aren't shaking because you stepped in the water? No I mean I could barely get out of the boat. So it turns out that the uh, the physical part of not eating for five days cannot be underestimated. When you see those guys hustling their asses off I mean I gave everything I had and I could I could like barely get out like I wasn't I couldn't even figure out how to get out without getting into the water first. Like I was like physically couldn't get out of, out of the kayak. <sighs> on top of that, you can see the look on her face as she knows she lost. And we're actually having a feast later with chicken, veggies, and fruit. Look at her. And this but is she has rice out. and coconut. No. You can quit at any time. All you gotta do is look in the camera and no. say I quit. No? no? Don't get any closer. You gonna? Say what you want to say. There's this gonna be a lot of food. You got jet probes watching you. You're gonna yeah. quit. Have beans from when you won the first challenge. Yay! I want to <coughs> donate my beans to someone who likes. No, it's not how it works. It doesn't work that way. And I am going to eat chicken today. All you gotta do to eat chicken is do what? Say to the camera, I. Quit. I Mom, did my best. Jeff Robes is watching. I, I will try again that was, another time. That was a seriously crazy hard competition. <laughs> 
I didn't think I was gonna win. Sorry, I thought I'd get the end. I thought I'd be like five seconds short. You were not doing well when you. Oh, I know. When I first went out, I had to stop. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> Thank you. So we have our quitter. No, not. I don't know. Did you quit? Yeah. You quit? Did you, you're gonna eat chicken when everyone comes over there? Yes, I am. All right. Tell the camera you quit. But Ross is still going on as the champion. I'm not a quitter, survivor. but I'm gonna quit. <laughs> That's fine. That you can eat whatever tough. you want. You can eat whatever that you want. Very okay, so the winner of the first family survivor challenge is who? You. Me. Now, I don't know that I want to quit. I mean, I lost 10 pounds. Maybe I can go a couple more you days. Can eat I get to eat today anyway, so I'm gonna eat keep your going. Protein, dude. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. I'm not done. We're still doing the challenge. 116.4. It's not in focus, there it is, okay. So 116.4 after five days, oh. but the challenge broke you, didn't it? Yes, in two pieces, shattered me. From now on, I will just watch challenges just to learn. I might do this again. I'm still going though, I haven't given up yet. <laughs> Plus I won the challenge, so now I got actual food coming in today. So you can uh, go on with food. Yeah, let's, let's do one more way in though. All right, so this is like five and a half days. Still haven't really had anything. 174, I mean, that's, that's 10 pounds from where we started in five days. So, I mean, I, I can still feel this layer of fat here, so I'm gonna keep playing. I don't, I don't. Beer belly. I mean, I'm having fun. I think it's a fun game and I don't no, know how. No, it's more about the how, fun. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do challenges when I'm the only one competing. Can I? So maybe I'll just I, do challenges against the family and then if look, I win, I get to eat. If I don't, then I lose. That's, really? that's fine. Okay. What if I get back in the challenge as long as you involve a lot of coffee in it? It won't matter. You'll have <laughs> all this food in you and like, you'll be like a normal person. Oh, go drink a cup of coffee. You, like, like, here. Go make yourself a cup of coffee. You know what day it is? It's the best day ever. I cannot believe. I've gone this long without a cup of coffee. I mean, usually I do three cups of coffee a day. That was torture. Maybe it was also part of it mental torture, because I love my coffee. Anyway, and I could have cheated at any time, any moment, but I did not, so. Anyway, I'm super happy now, look at me. I'm gonna take all of this, make that all. <coughs> Coffee today. My awesome puree right here. Why? I love my puree. Like, this is one of the best ones. Look at this color. Yeah. What's wrong? Happy face. I don't get happy faces a lot, but this makes me happy. <laughs> oh. Hey, Roma, your mom's drinking coffee for the first time in five days. Oh my god, it smells so good! It's like my first time having coffee again. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy. I'm super happy. And later we've got people coming over making the feast, so you'll get to see us all eating the feast even though the loser... Because you quit, so you get it in the feast, okay, so it's good. It's but good. I did my best. You did, did good. You, see me kayak? you did five days and what? Six pounds? Five pounds? How many pounds was it? Five, six oh, pounds? Wow. Yeah. I was 126. No, you're 121. Are you sure? Yeah. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, so it's five so pounds. It's five pounds scary. in five days. So now you, you now have a new diet. You can tell people about how I lost five pounds in five days. And you can but be real no, about it. Seriously, <laughs> I will definitely eat again rice with chunks of fresh coconut food boiled and water. Yeah, oh yeah, it's great. Instead of soy it's sauce, it's probably healthier. So, absolutely <laughs> healthier. Yeah. It's so much better. I will try that again. All right, let's see the first sip of coffee. Is it too hot? Mm. 
don't care. <laughs> she burns herself. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like I want to marry Ross all over again. Oh. All right, so we'll, we'll come back later, show you the feast that we're all gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna keep pushing through because I'm actually having fun doing this and I think the kids enjoy it. And, you know, I mean, ultimately one of our motivations was for the kids. So, you know, we're gonna keep going, all right? All right, so the reward challenge. They did not have bread. What's up, guys? They did not have bread and they did not have uh, beef. So I'm gonna skip the bread and the beef. But there's fruits and, vegetables, fruits and vegetables. So there's vegetables. And then there's chicken outside. And there's chicken outside. Alright, so day six, uh, Raina dropped out on day five. So what I found is a lot of the motivation is stripped away when you're doing this on your own. Uh, let me just walk you through today. So I work. Um, I worked for a good two hours this morning. And then I went for like a half hour bike ride. And then I went for like a 40 minute walk and then played basketball with the kids and then I came home oh actually before I went to the park I ate like some rice and beans so I probably had three to four hundred calories today and it's like I clearly burned more than that just walking around and doing stuff um, I have more work that came in and I don't really want to start a project when like I'm just not ready to go mentally and I'm burned so I am out but what we want to do is we do want to do a season two are you gonna come over here and get yes. in so we want to do a season two eventually maybe in the spring or something uh, one of the things we want to do is is add more people I think I think that would be uh, a lot it'd be a lot more fun with more people and then maybe more in, more incentives we didn't have any incentives at all and then maybe she should actually figure out what she's more. into and you have to get above your dog sometimes <laughs> You'll be in yeah, it? Yeah, no. maybe. Well, we'll, well we'll if we do it with kids, if we do it with kids, then easy. we just have to make sure they're fed appropriately. <laughs> so they'll kind of lose the food aspect. But, I mean, maybe if we do it with kids, it'll be really fun. Um, so, you know, check back for that. We're, we're, we're throwing in the towel on season one. I do want to say a few things about what we learned, though. One is that when they do those food challenges, it is heart crushing to lose. I mean, I lost one and she lost one. She lost one and she's like, she got back to the dock and she's like, I'm out. Like, I'm not playing this anymore. I am done. And like, you kind of see that when they go back to their camps when they lose and they're just head down, not happy. And like, you get it now. You feel it when you're like, oh, I really wanted yeah, that food. Really you're like physically and mentally. Yeah. When you, when you so there definitely needs incentive and obviously on that show they have the million dollar prize so we're gonna have to throw in some money or something next time I mean, we'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll figure out what we're gonna do I'll to make it more fun money. we're gonna need more people and some kind of better incentives and me watching uh, although there was so I can figure out what this show is about honestly like there's more to it and and like the more I watch the more I have questions and everyone's looking at me like what is she talking about like this show has there, there was a good amount of um, incentive to beat her, right? Like, I, I mean, if she would have been stubborn and wanted to go another week, I could have gone another week. I mean, physically, I was okay. Like, like I said, I did activities today. And it really, I didn't really notice other than you know, you're a little bit more winded. And you're definitely not running. You know, you're walking if you get a choice. Um, so, you know, I definitely lost weight. Uh, we did a weigh-in a couple of days ago. I think I was down like 10 pounds. Um, I won the food challenge yesterday though, so I ate a little bit yesterday, so I'm probably right around 10 pounds lost still. Um, you know, one of the other things is that food is so bland without salt and pepper and hot sauce and all that. I mean, yeah. it's one of the things that is overlooked that people don't really think about when all those people are stuck on an island that they're only eating rice and beans and, you know, maybe if they catch a chicken or something they get some eggs but I mean that's eggs just eggs no salt no pepper it's just eggs so uh, I, I actually am looking forward to eating an egg in the near future just because mm -hmm. I haven't had one in a week uh, so six days I know we could go longer um, you know this is kind of a trial run for us we came up with this idea like six days ago <laughs> and we had fun uh, learned a lot 
she had no idea what she was doing. So that part was fun. So next time, yeah. next time she'll be, do better. Yeah. Uh, if you want in on this, I mean, we know that the world is is kind of virtual these days. So uh, we'll probably put together a prize package in the future, and um, you know maybe we can figure out a way to have other people kind of virtually. Uh, doing some weigh-ins and shooting some of their own videos from home. We could all kind of edit them together, do Zoom meetings, do, do challenges online, you know. So uh, maybe we'll expand this and make it more fun, but it really is an eye-opening experience. And, you know, we enjoyed it. Um, next time we're obviously going to shoot for many more days than, than just under a week here. But uh, that's all I have to say about that. You? No. I'm ready to challenge you. Okay, she quit yesterday. She's ready to challenge me again today. Right. Uh, so that's it. I am the winner, the official winner of season one of the Lakeways Survivor and I Food tried, Challenge. But it was exhausting. So thanks for watching. All right. So the final way out after six days, you can see. I think I lost a little bit of belly fat, but not too much. Uh, I got my phone here. That weighs something. Uh, let's see what we did. 173. So I started at like 184 and some change. So a little bit over 11 pounds in six days. So you can tell like it, uh, I mean, and that's very little exercise, just kind of day to day stuff. Uh, so, you know, that season, season 26 of Survivor did not have very much food and you can kind of see it on the scale.